Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Victorious Gaming with another amazing Marvel Future Fight video. Today we are gonna talk about Minerva in Extreme Alliance Battle. Since today is a combat female day, so I hope this guy will help you to have a better understanding on her skill rotation and her build as well, so that you know what to do in order to get certain score with certain build. Minerva is by far the best option for this IBS combat female day if you don't have tier 3 crescents. Consider Crescent is a premium character and the cost of bringing her to tier 3. I think it's not a bad idea to use Minerva for this combat female day, since she's a totally free to play character and she can do quite decent in ABX as well. But most of the players must be wondering is it worth to give her a rage or not, or a normal Obelus would be enough. Since this video, I will be doing a comparison of Minerva between an Extreme Mobilus and a CTP of Rage, so that you know what to expect from Minerva when you're using a normal damage pro Obelus or a CTP of Rage. So in today's video, I'm actually using two different builds of Minerva from two different accounts. One is from my own account, which I'm using a normal damage pro Obelus, and the other is from my Alliance member, Papa from Harrogate, which is using a CTP of Rage on Minerva. Alright, so before we get into some ABS gameplay, let's quickly go through our build. Alright guys, so both of us have Minerva at level 70 with all gears 25. But the state is a bit different. Mine is only ignore defense and skill cooldown are maxed out, while the crit damage is almost maxed out and about 22,000 of physical attack without leadership. On the other hand, he has almost everything maxed out. Max attack speed, max crit rate, max crit damage, max signal defense, max dodge, and max skill cooldown. And about 24,000 of physical attack without any leadership. That's not bad at all. And both of us have all the gears 25 as what I mentioned earlier. And I do have some of the 4, 5, and 6 star Urus, while he has all the 5 and 6 star Urus and 5 Odin's blessing. That's pretty decent. Then I have stage 6 of Power and Angry Hawk ISO set while he does have the same ISO set but with set bonus stage 9 in effect. Then I do have a normal Obelus 200% damage proc with crit damage while his Minerva is rocking with a CTP of Rage. And then about the uniform, I only got it at rare level with some physical attack while he got her uniform at mythic level with some skill cooldown, physical attack, ignore defense and crit damage as well. Alright, now let's talk about Minerva's skill rotation. So the skill rotation is pretty straightforward. No matter which Obelus or CTP you are using right now, the skill rotation is still the same for Minerva. You need to cancel her 5th skill into the 3rd skill to get the summon and the all attack, all speed and crit rate buff. As soon as you see those buff and summon activate, then cancel your 3rd skill right away and turn to proc on your 4th skill. Try to get full proc on your 4th skill because it is the only skill that has the most damage output there. And then about the first skill and the second skill, they are not the main skill obviously, but you can use them while waiting for your 5, 3, 4 to off cooldown. That's it. Nothing much about the first and second skill, just use them while waiting for your 5, 3, 4 to off cooldown. So the rotation is 5C, 3C, proc 4. That's it. So guys, next we are going to jump into the ABX gameplay section where you can see those cancel timing, proc on the 4th skill and all that stuff, so that you can understand better and you know what to expect from Minerva when you're using a normal damage proc obelisk or a CTP of rage on her. So we will start with the ABS gameplay section with the damage proc obelisk. And by the way guys, we are using She-Hawk for leadership and Valkyrie for her tier 2 passive skill, which is the increased damage dealt to super villain. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you will be notified when I upload those good stuff on Marvel Future Fight. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.